Hello everyone, this is Rahul Shayar back again. I welcome you to my channel and I want to thank you all for the love, support and feedbacks that you've been giving me. The love and support has really helped me stay motivated and the feedbacks have been so helpful because it helps me decide what I need to come here and do next. So guess what, here I'm back again with another video that is going to try to help you. Um, so today's topic is based on the feedbacks that I've been receiving and I realized that ABG that is arterial blood gases is one of the topics that a lot of people have difficulty in understanding and trying to break it down. So I'm going to try to do the same thing. I'm going to try to help break it down like I did with CTSIB and try to help you understand the concept and you know get a good strategy to solve them. So let's head over to Zoom and get started. Okay, so like last time, um, I would really suggest is you make your own sheet along with me. So like you can see, it's ABG worksheet. So when we study ABG, the first thing that we have to do is know the normal values. So first I'm going to put down the normal values. There are three components in ABG. The first one is pH pH is we will discuss about how it makes a difference so pH the normal value is 7.35 to 7.45 the second one is PaCO2 which is partial carbon dioxide which is 35 to 45 now pH is the pH value 35 to 45 is mmHg it's not really necessary, but just in the normal values, we'll know about it. The third one is going to be HCO3, which is going to be 22 to 28, which is milli equivalent per liter. So that's written as MEQ per liter. Okay. So once we know the normal values, now we are going to see what happens when they are abnormal. So abnormal. When there, when there is abnormal, first we'll talk about pH. If pH is lower than normal value, sorry, if pH is lower than normal value, it will be, it will be acidosis. And if pH is higher, then it will be alkalosis. Now, PaCO2 lower than normal is as alkalosis, whereas PaCO2 higher than normal is acidosis. The third value is HCO3, which is HCO3 lower than normal will be acidosis and HCO3 higher than normal will be alkalosis. So, Another thing that you have to remember is when we when we try to break down the questions, PaCO2 represents the respiratory component. And HCO3 represents the metabolic component. So if PaCO2 is normal, that means there is no respiratory issue, then it will be metabolic condition and vice versa, which is HCO3 being normal, then the condition is respiratory okay now 
what are we going to do next is try to have steps so when i discuss the steps i'm going to try to change color just to make it look more beautiful oh so the first step is look at ph so when i look at ph i have to look whether ph is normal or abnormal so if ph is normal my condition is compensated if ph is abnormal then my condition will be either uncompensated or partially compensated okay second is look at pseo2 and hco3 if pseo2 is normal then we already discussed this condition will be metabolic and if hco3 is normal then condition is respiratory now step 3 is if all are abnormal then the condition is partially compensated okay once these steps are clear what happens when there is a partially compensated condition so further the steps after this is i want you to remember this as a abg family so in the abg family i'm going to use a different color to kind of get the story out is in the abg family ph is the father and pseo2 and hco3 are the two siblings or you know the sons let's say let's say they are the two sons so now whenever there is a condition when all three are abnormal the first preference will always go to ph to decide what the condition is for example if ph is acidic the condition has to be acidic it cannot be alkaline if ph is alkaline then the condition has to be alkaline so when we when i say ph is the father which means that it is the family name the family name will continue as the father's name is right and let's further divide this into like the father has a name and he has some fortune behind that name now paco2 and hco3 are the two sons who gets the fortune now the first choice is going to be there will be a scenario where one will follow the ph if ph i'm going to put down an example here in another different color so you know you can kind of make out let's say ph is equal to 7.50 uh pseo2 is 50 and hco3 is let's say 30 so now in this all of them are abnormal right what is happening to ph ph is alkaline what is happening to paco2 it is acidic what is happening to hco3 it is alkaline in this situation so what is the father's name alkaline so the condition when i have to put down the name for the condition i know because all three are abnormal it is going to be partially compensated and i know it is going to be alkaline now who is alkaline in this situation hco3 and hco3 represents the metabolic component so it will be 
partially compensated metabolic alkalosis. I hope that is clear. So this is scenario one. The first step you will do is father always gets the name. Whether it's an acidic or alkaline will always be dependent on pH. So I'm going to try to clear out some components over here. Let's clear off this abnormal values thing. So I get some space to make an example. Now let's use another scenario where I give an example of pH being 7.30 HCO3 being again 50 and PaCO2 sorry HCO3 being 20 and PaCO2 being 50 okay so now let's try to break it down pH lesser than normal will be alkaline, uh, acidic, HCO3 lesser than normal will be acidic, PaCO2 lesser than normal will be acidic. Now we said the first step was follow the father. Now both of them are following the father. So now what do you decide? You at least know at this point of time that it is partially compensated acidosis. But you still need to decide now whether it is metabolic or whether it is going to be respiratory. So now what do you do in this situation is I'm going to shift this. Okay. So now how far away is HCO3 from normal? The normal value is 22 to 28. So how many points is it away from normal? It is going to be 2 points away from normal. And now PaCO2 is 5 points away from normal. So think of this as the father has to give his fortune to someone. So obviously he wants someone to follow his footsteps. And if both of them are following, but he has to give it to only one, he wants to give it to the one who is more, you know, like has a more entrepreneur kind of a thinking where he thinks more out of the box. Thinking more out of the box is thinking more away from normal. So when PaCO2 is five points away from normal, that gets the advantage. So this condition will become partially compensated respiratory acidosis so the first scenario we discussed is when the partially compensated comes in you first your first target is to follow the pattern now in this same situation that i have mentioned down here pseo2 is five points away and hco3 is only two points away but why do i still choose metabolic is because my first step is to follow the pattern if both are following the pattern, then you will look at something that is going more out of the box or more away from normal. I'm going to use one more example uh, just to, you know, finish and brush this up. Let's say pH was 7.42. My HCO3 was let's say again 30 and my PaCO2 was again 50 okay so now if you see in this the pH is normal so this is gonna be compensated compensated and now it is compensated but which direction is it going though it is in the normal range but it is leaning more towards alkaline direction right pH is alkaline PaCO2 is acidic 
So who gets the name? The same direction. So it is going to be compensated metabolic alkalosis. So the best way to do this is do a lot of practice. I hope this helps you. Please feel free to give your feedbacks. I'm sorry if there were any typos or any spelling mistakes. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, this should help. And I am, as usual, uh, waiting to hear your feedbacks. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. And I will see you soon. I wish you all the best.